uh, I since I have received some email from uh, from people, also the press. I would like to thank the one on the web, uh, also to mention uh, the, the the press from Algeria. Uh, bienvenue, uh, uh, s'il vous plaît, posez des questions. Uh, so now let's uh, start. And uh, starting, I would like to share with you uh, a message, and this is what uh, is uh, uh, helping to keep me going on this. This is from the uh, Associate Director of the uh, Brookhaven National Laboratory, and he is saying the important thing after uh, some introduction, I would say that any approach, even from a Nobel laureate, that suggests two to three order of magnitude improvement in anything will meet considerable skepticism. This must be expected. However, you should not feel discouraged nor feel despair. Your persistence will win if you are correct. Failure <coughs> will only result if you quit and you were right after all. So, uh, we will see, uh, with your help now, to, to focus and see if uh, uh, we can uh, uh, bring this technology as soon as possible to the people. Now, to read all this uh, very fine printing, because it's been uh, uh, distributed uh, as a press release. Anyway, are uh, three paragraphs that are uh, uh, describing the claim of this uh, 400 times improvement. And uh, after uh, most having presented most of this uh, uh, subject, at the end, uh, I will go over line by line uh, let's say, group of uh, words, by group of words, sentence, and, and uh, try to support and, and uh, uh, give support and uh, validate this uh, <coughs> okay. So the agenda, as you see, is pretty long. Uh, so the agenda, as you see, is pretty long. Uh, I'm not going to read all the agenda now, so I prefer to just read one line at a time and then with four or five slides to address those, uh, uh, th that subject. So first, the question was needs and mission. Defeat cancer with early detection. I think that most of us agree that if we can have a tool, a medical imaging device that uh, can detect early cancer, cancer at a very early stage, that is the best way to defeat cancer. Because when, it is, when it's caught <coughs> in the later stage, it will be difficult to reverse the process. So that will be the need, uh, also the mission. So let's see what is uh, uh, the study supporting this, uh, the, this motivation. If uh, I looked at the statistic from uh, uh, the Central Data Statistic and uh, for 1997 and didn't change much for 98 and after, we can uh, see that for the age, let me see, okay, the age of 45, 64 years old, we start having a lot of people who die and the two causes for death, most important, is heart and cancer. Okay. So all the other causes grouped together will not exceed cancer. That for the United States, it's 131,000 uh, approximately every year. Instead, heart disease is 100,000 years. Why do I give so much importance to 45, 64 years old? Because <coughs> the average lifetime of a woman 
he is 80 years old, and a man is 74 years old. So we should have some way to cure the people and to keep everybody alive. <coughs> so if we can improve these two, the yellow and the purple uh, uh, bar, then we will uh, have uh, solved the problem not just for that age, but for everybody. Okay? And at a certain age will be uh, several organs that uh, will fail at the same time. Okay? But we will see that in pet is not that important the resolution, but it's important the sensitivity, the activity. Instead on CT is important the resolution because it's measuring the density. So let's see the technological advantages of the current path of the 3D CBS versus the current path. Uh, examination time. Many people say that now is 30 minutes, is 20 minutes, okay? We have to compare apples with apples. So if uh, one is scanning, and typically is what the hospital are doing now, the scanning from the throat to the, the only a portion of the body, then you cannot compare with a device like the one that I've designed that is one meter and a half and that can scan from head to knees, okay? So uh, this 55 minutes uh, compared to four minutes, uh, even if some uh, uh, manufacturers say that it's 20 minutes, but you should ask if uh, how much body they scan. Then the current price is between $2,000 to $4,000. I think that the reimbursement by uh, the government is uh, something around $1,700. The examination cost should go down, drop to $300, $400. And how can we do this? We'll tell later. Most important, the radiation. Right now, any, no person can uh, uh, have this exam if the exam is not prescribed by a doctor or if the person doesn't uh, sign a document that he takes full responsibility. Because the radiation is 10 to 20 times the maximum radiation set by the International Commission for Radiation Protection. So we should go below 100 milligrams. Efficiency now is a 0 0.007 to 0 0.02 percent. Should go to 10 percent. The cost of the current pad are between 1.3 million to 2.3 million, and this will cost more. However, we will see that the amortization of the 3D CBS it will be faster because the 3D CBS because it is one meter and a half long, instead of going through six or seven positions of the body, can do it at once, so it can examine six times the number of patients. So where are the advantages? Six times the throughput, that is an advantage. Lower radiation, so lower cost on the radioisotope. Not exactly 30 times, but maybe five, six times. Lower cost in personnel, because if you have six times the number of patients, you are not going to multiply by six, put six times the number of doctors, and most you can put two doctors. So these three advantages are the advantages that will uh, uh, allow to uh, amortize faster the machine and also to reduce the, the cost, the examination cost. Let's uh, see, because everybody says not everybody, but uh, when we read some uh, article on the newspaper, we see this device has a very low radiation. What does it mean very low? Let's compare with something. So we can compare either with the amount of radiation that we are having in average uh, all over the world, and that is 360 milligram. As I said, that is an average. In Dallas, for instance, it's 240, because the soil is not radio radioactive. We are lucky. Rocky Mountains is two, three times there, okay? But uh, where is this radiation coming from? It's coming from the ground, radon. It's coming from uh, the cosmic ray. And also a certain amount from a medical examination, nuclear medicine. 